in the pole vault. The women's 4x100 metre relay final has just been delayed by a minute or two, but now we're ready to get underway. On the outside, it's France. Ombisa Dasangi, Akakpo, Gale and Zahi. Well, Orlan Ombisa Dasango and a very good first leg in her semi-final to bring France through to this final. On their inside, Pereira Amru, Hooper, Siragusa, and on the anchor leg, Audrey Chalot. Germany are very well drilled. Local favourites. Kwai, Lukenkemper, Pinto and Rebecca Harter on the anchor. Switzerland have Del Ponte handing over to Acho, Kambunji and Mora. Well, the 2016 champions are the Netherlands. Daphne Skippers, Van Hunenstoen, Samuel and Sedney. Here are the favourites, Great Britain, Northern Ireland, brought in Dina Asher Smith on the anchor leg. Asher Philip, Imani Lansko, Blanca Williams hand over to her. Spain have Perez, Garcia, Sevilla and Lara. And on the inside, it's the Poland team of Sieber, Kielabansinska, Kotvila and Svoboda. Well, Great Britain, Northern Ireland look absolutely terrific in qualifying and then could bring in the double 100 and 200 metre champion, Dina Asher-Smith. Great Britain, Northern Ireland set a European leading time of 42.19 in their semi-final just two hours ago, first round two hours ago. Could be looking at the first sub-42 time by a European quartet this year. Poland, Spain, Great Britain, Netherlands, Switzerland, Germany, Italy and France, the women's 4 by 100 metre final. Well, Asha Philip away very quickly, already trying to gain a little bit on Daphne Schipper, who in turn is up on the Swiss team. Good handovers from Great Britain and the Netherlands. Germany also running well at this moment. And it's Van Hunnesten handing over to Janowie Samuel, but the Germans are doing extremely well. Tatiana Pinto has the baton in her hand now. She's going to hand over to Rebecca Haaser. Well, Dina Asher-Smith taking over in fourth, has a bit to do, but she's really rocketing down the home straight. Dina Asher-Smith is on her way to a third gold medal, Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the Netherlands and Germany. That's gold, silver and bronze. What a championships for Dina Asher-Smith. Well, Naomi Sedney ran a fantastic last leg just to hold off the Germans, but there was no stopping Dina Asher-Smith coming from fourth at the final change but she is in such outstanding form, joined by the rest of her team to take the plaudits. That's Imani Lansako running down the back straight. Rebecca Hasse, a little bit of disappointment on her face, but the Germans will be on the podium in the bronze medal position. But Great Britain, Northern Ireland regain the title that they last had in 2014. What a finish there from Dina Asher-Smith. It was almost as if she changed gears and just stomped past everyone with about 50 metres to go. And it just shows what a dominant character in global sprinting she is now. Well, a world lead. We did indeed see a sub at 42 seconds time. Great Britain, 41.88. Netherlands, 42.15. This is the second changeover for the Dutch. Well, I don't think anything would have stopped Dina Asher-Smith, but that changeover didn't help, and here's the final changeover. Asher-Smith takes over behind the Dutch, the Germans and the Swiss, but just flies past the ball. And just look at how quickly she makes up ground there and puts daylight between her and the rest of the runners.
4 by 100 meters women's final. Poland and Great Britain favorites, but how can the Dutch get on, particularly with skippers, who were just waiting there to run the second leg? Poland, France, Switzerland, Germany, Britain, Italy, Netherlands, Ukraine. Germany in four, Britain in five, Netherlands out in seven. A good start for uh, Britain out there in lane five. Asha Philip will hand over to Asha Smith and she'll be up against Daphne Skippers. Skippers going way out there, but it's also the British, I think, still in the lead. Dina Asha Smith will hand over to Bianca Williams. Terrific leg, of course, by Skippers, as one might expect. And the Germans going well. The British, the Dutch and the Germans, the favourites, are clearly the first three in this race. And who will hand over first? It's pretty close, the Dutch on the outside, the Germans and the British, but what a run by the Dutch team. Tremendous roars, they've been run down by the others, but Sydney is going to hold on. And in fact, the Dutch win by a clear margin, with Britain second and Pinto third. And their national record has just been obliterated with a time of 42.05 for the Netherlands. The greatest run by a Dutch sprint relay team since the days of Fanny Blankenskern. The national record was 42.32, and they have annihilated that we'll just wait for the official time to come through i think it has 4204 water leg inspired of course by daphne skippers but didn't they all run well well i think it's not just a triumph for daphne shippers when you look at that team they were well drilled we're looking here at Janelli, samuel sydney van Schagen. terrific runs by all of them motivated with the backing of the vast majority of these 17,000 crowd it was a fantastic performance from the gun to the tape by all four women, not just the 100-metre champion. All credit to all four women in the Dutch side, and they ran superbly. The baton handling was terrific as well. That was an up, a lesson to every single team around Europe. Ash Phillip needs to get off to a good start here. The person who kept her out of the final by a thousandth of a second is up against her for France in lane three. Distel Bonnet and Distel Bonnet handing, and it's a good hand up for Great Britain. Oh, and uh, that's the, the, the Dutch have gone. Skippers hasn't got the baton, so it's Great Britain against France at the moment. Ashley Nelson to Jody Williams. Britain have got a lead. Oh, it's just about get it in their hands. It's going to be close there. Sumeray round the top bend for France, but Britain have got a great lead. But look at Sumeray trying to run down Jody Williams. Desiree Henry's got it. France has got the baton, but there's a lead for Great Britain. France running them down, but Ashley Nelson, sorry, excuse me, Desiree Henry has got it. Great Britain get the goal. 42.25, a new British record at last. 1980, Heather Hunt, Cathy Smallwood, Bev Goddard, Sonia Lanneman, now read the British record holders, Asha Phillip, Ashley Nelson, Jordy Williams, Desiree Henry, simply superb again from the British quartet. Great baton changing, and I think there's even still probably a little room for improvement, but that doesn't matter. They won't care about that. What a performance. The French were good, maybe not quite as good as they were in the heats, but that was quicker from the British women than the French ran. A national record for them. The guys are out there celebrating as well. 42.24, the official time. And what a way to round off what has been a scintillating European Championships for the British team. And it's one of its features, one of its major features, has been this new crop of young female sprinters that Britain have got. 
and of course Dina Asher Smith who sadly uh, limped out the other day so much talent and four of them producing a new British record there on your marks Alicia Pove, terrific 60 meter sprinter, very quick starter, will lead off for Ukraine. Set. And away they go, and Pove is indeed already opening, uh, closing down the German outsider. Russia going quite well. Not too much to choose between it, there's no doubt the Ukraine have uh, made a brilliant start. Germany going very well now, there was a problem there for the Ukraine. Well, let's just concentrate on the race at the moment. Poland on the outside, now going very well. Germany, we have a clear favourite, we no longer got it, but it's the Germans in the lead. And then Russia on the inside of them. The empty lane for Ukraine, as we've got Germany coming through to win this title. Brady Sala brings them home, Netherlands in second place, and... I think Patak uh, anchored well to uh, bring Poland into third place. Well, the problem was the change for Ukraine. Pov to Pogreniak on the second changeover. We'll no doubt see a replay of that. The clear favourites they might have been. But in relays, you've got to get that baton round. And in the end, it was a very fine run by Germany. And they run a very quick time, too. 42.51. Well, that's even quicker than Ukraine ran in the heats. Netherlands setting a national record in second place at 32.80 with Poland 43.06. Fine sprinting there, even if the champions were not the ones we expected, but brilliant, brilliant run by the German team. And the Dutch will be absolutely thrilled by their performance as well. They were able to bring in shippers who didn't run in the heat to help them run brilliantly in the final. But there, Ukraine, well... They did brilliantly in the individual races, but it all went wrong when it came to the relay final. And as you've so rightly said, so often in the 4x100 metres we see teams you might have considered to be the favourites. We've seen it on the world stage with the Americans, we've seen it on the European stage so often with Britain. And on this occasion it's the Ukrainians who don't get the baton round. Well, Pove was off very fast. Now watch her here, she's on the right of the screen at the moment, running in lane five. She's run the quickest of that first leg. She's got a handover now. Oh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Oh, no. That's where it all goes wrong, isn't it? At the very, very first changeover between Pove and Pogrebniak. Meanwhile, the Germans were flying. Got a uh, brilliant run there by Pinto, handing over to Sila, giving her a very clear lead. He's not going to mess this up. That was the crucial leg, that third leg from Pinto, I think. That got them the gold medal. And the Netherlands team anchored by, anchored by Samuel. They brought both shippers and Samuel in to run in the final, having not run in the heat. He took a chance and managed to get through to the final. And uh, laid off. He only got through, actually because of the disqualification, if I remember rightly. Britain being disqualified, yes, that was right. So, it was a fortune there for the Dutch women's squad. Well, they did gamble in the heat. Samuel hadn't been well the night before, and they decided to leave her out of the relay team. Shippers was always going to make the 200 metres final the priority. But, uh, yes, as you rightly say, they did get in the back door after Britain had uh, been disqualified. But I think they fully justified their inclusion in the final. There's the celebrations from the German squad of Gunther, Sibis, Pinto and Seyer. Uh, the Dutch squad that we've been talking about, Russell, Shippers, Lubbers and Samuel. Can I say Samuel for Germany? I mean Seyer, of course. Dutch sprinting doing well at the moment. One and two in the men's 200 metres. Well, there's the uh, changeover again. Yes, one and two in the men's. 
200 meters for the Dutch. So now a national record here. And the final leg runner from the Ukraine, Kiachachenko, only only able to look around in despair, wondering where her runner should be. So to the end, yeah, yeah, the third leg, yeah. Poles absolutely delighted to get their medal as well. I don't know that Popovich, Korzynska, Djeska and Patak were expecting one. Definitely not. They wouldn't have been in my predictions. I thought the Netherlands were going to do well once we saw Samuel and Schippers in the lineup. But well. Russia's impressive quartet goes in lane three. <laughs> Medizade going away for the Russians. Now Sumare running the uh, lead-off leg for the French has gone off like a proverbial bat out of hell. She hands over to Veronique Mang, the individual 100 metre silver medalist, and Mang's going like a train as well. Ukraine just being careful not to stray out their lane, and here comes the, the French. Jacques Sebastian running a fine leg. Now the Russians are struggling. Last changeover. The French in the lead. Christine Auer with the stick against Brigina. The Poles in there, but the Russians are nowhere. And Brigina coming away ahead of Aron. Brigina leads Ukraine to victory ahead of France. Well, that is a massive surprise in that Russia were nowhere. Russia outside the medals. Full credit to Ukraine. And Elizaveta Brigina takes her second medal of the championships and more importantly it is gold one better than in the individual 200 meters the Belgians had a miserable time they had a lot of problems on their exchanges and so too did the Russians fastest time in the world this year and Ukraine although they have a, a pretty solid quartet perhaps have surprised themselves I was saying this is on the same track that Regina's mother Olga won gold and silver and her daughter has matched her achievement and Poland have got the bronze where did it all go wrong for the Russians The Russians by this stage are way down, just not in it, and the Belgians have dropped the stick on that last exchange. There's a Vieta Brigina holding off uh, Christine Aron, uh, maybe two years ago. Aron might have caught her, on the other hand. There's a Vieta Brigina a few years ago, was probably still a toddler in primary school. <laughs> Testament to how long Christine Aron has been around. So the new sprint relay women's champions of Europe, Ukraine. Sumare ran an outstanding first leg for the French out in lane seven. Handing over to Veronique Mong. And the Ukrainians kept in the hunt. Spanish were having problems. And now that's a third exchange for Ukraine. Riemien with the stick about to hand over to Brigina. Doing everything right. Good exchange. And Brigina hunted Christina Horn down. Very tough for Aron. At 36, you wouldn't be expecting her to beat sprinters. Well, she's giving away a good 10 years. <laughs> 